have to admit, my job takes me to some pretty interesting places, and in this situation today, I can't believe I'm making content on this, because we literally have a WNBA player who is getting paid so little in the WNBA that she decided to go ahead and make an OnlyFans. Or you can look at this in a different way, which is the way I choose to do it. Before we get to the content, just a reminder, we're going crazy for the holiday season. I'm personally Jewish, it's Hanukkah right now. So as a result, I'm giving away $500 to a subscriber that has my notifications turned on. Whether you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber, it doesn't matter. But if you're a new subscriber, go to the comment section down below and tell me you're new here. Of course, follow us on our other social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, because we're gonna be doing giveaways for those platforms next and if you want to see us talk about this topic a little bit more in depth check us out on the laced up podcast now that we get all that out of the way cue the intro All right, who? Which one of us is buying it? Shotty not mm. nose goes. <laughs> Looks like uh, I'm, I'm not buying it. Yeah, Mike. You know it's it's you. You're the most single. No, I actually love <laughs> it. I actually love the fact that she's starting an OnlyFans. I think that's I think that's dope, man. Um, there there's a lot of money to be had, especially if you have clout. I'm pretty sure uh, she has well, like a million she, followers on IG too, or something like that. She also she said like her family pushed her into doing it. Mike Chuck one two one two. What's going on, everybody? I believe this is the first time I made a video on a WNBA player, and that player is a woman by the name of Liz Cambage. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Liz Cambage is a 10 year WNBA vet, although she's been playing sparingly in the WNBA throughout her career, playing at the ages of 19, 21, 26, 27, and more recently at the age of 29. She was drafted number two overall by the Tulsa Shock, and she currently plays for the Las Vegas Aces. Now, something that's a huge topic of conversation, at least in the political sphere, is the female wage gap, which is something that I don't really want to get to on this channel because we are not a political channel. But if there is something I'm willing to accept, it's the fact that the WNBA and WNBA players get paid significantly less than NBA. NBA and NBA players. And although some people would say, well, Mike, that's because women, they don't get paid as much. It has more to do with the product. In October of 18th, 2021, the NBA came out and said that they are projecting to generate $10 billion in revenue this season. And they set a record in $1.46 billion in sponsorship revenue this past season. When you look at the WNBA, you'll note one thing that's pretty important. It's the fact that they're a horrible business. As a matter of fact, according to this article, the WNBA generates roughly $60 million in revenue every season. That does sound like a lot if you're just looking at revenue, but when you take into consideration that they pay $70 million to run the league, then you realize that this league loses about $10 million each and every year. So it's just a testament to the NBA, man. They want women's basketball to take off so much that they're willing to eat up the costs. And in the WNBA's defense, I believe basketball wasn't really as popular when they first started early on in the 1900s. It took some time for it to catch on and hopefully eventually it'll catch on. So shout out to the NBA for subsidizing the WNBA, but the top players in the WNBA, as you can see, like Diana Taurasi, Skylar Diggins-Smith, Elena Deladon, Brittany Griner, all get paid a maximum contract of about $228,000. Now, when you compare that to the face of the NBA, LeBron James, he gets paid about $40 million. So yes, LeBron James pretty much makes a little bit more than half than the WNBA's overall revenue. As a matter of fact, his entire contract extension is way more money than the entire WNBA makes per year, although it's a two-year $85 million contract extension that he signed at the end of 2020. Now, also something to bear in mind is typically the NBA season starts in October, and if you make it all the way to the end of the NBA finals, they usually end in the middle of June, which according to my advanced calculus pretty much makes up for an eight-month season, whereas the WNBA WNBA is literally half of that. So WNBA players don't get paid nearly as much. And as a result, well, you have to be a little bit more entrepreneurial if you want this, what I consider to be a part-time job to be extremely profitable because the WNBA does provide some other services. I mean, you do end up on SportsCenter when you make great plays in the WNBA. There are ways to get your name out there. And most of these women do have large Instagram followings. And thankfully it looks like one particular WNBA star by the name of Liz Cambage is doing the most to leverage her audience in order 
order to make some additional money. Now, for those of you guys that don't know who Liz Cambage is, she is, at least to me, before I even knew who she was, she's the person that is being name dropped by Drake when Drake says, wet like I'm book, wet like I'm Lizzie in sicko mode by Travis Scott. <laughs> She announced that she is actually dropping an OnlyFans. For those of you guys that don't know what OnlyFans is, it's pretty much a website where you could send content out to your audience behind a paywall. Very similar to Patreon, but uh, not so much. Most of the time, individuals that are on OnlyFans use this paywall to release lewd slash nude content. And it looks like on November 24, 2021, Liz Cambage decided to do the very same thing, tweeting out a link to her OnlyFans account. So this was met with like very mixed reviews from her audience. On one hand, people are saying, wow, the WNBA is paying you that little that you need to make an OnlyFans. Whereas my personal take on the matter is, look, man, I'm going to be honest. I'm like the ultimate capitalist. My parents were immigrants. We came to a foreign country and based off of just my analysis of the way America worked and based off of what I wanted to do, I was able to build a business for myself where I record videos of myself in my bedroom yelling at a computer screen and thousands of people decide to watch me. So I believe that this is the day and age, especially in the internet age, that you can get really creative with ways of making money for yourself. And you can really change your life if you do so. I mean, did you know that Tyga makes $10 million a year off of OnlyFans? So honestly, I'm very much in the boat of go get your bag, girl, because you have to be very creative in today's day and age if you want to join that elite tier of comfort. She said back in April to Chris Johnson Hoops that the amount of money I could be making off of OnlyFans is crazy. What am I doing sitting here? Bear in mind that Liz has already kind of dabbled in this before she did do a playboy shoot before and she said that she's never embraced her sexuality in public and her doing playboy is her celebrating her sexuality she said yeah i am a straight six foot eight woman who likes to have sex. i'm a human it's what we do so it's really interesting how tall liz cambage is i mean there's pictures of her next to lebron james and like dude oh my god i mean they literally are the same height practically the same height when you look at them here's another picture of her next to Shaq Keel O'Neal and Shaq is seven foot two and look at how Liz Cambage is barely a few feet shorter. So yeah, I definitely think there's a niche for women like Liz Cambage that are larger than the average woman but are extremely athletically built. And honestly, more power to her for leveraging this opportunity and her one million followers on Instagram to try to make some additional money. Do I feel like the WNBA needs to be paying their players more? Eh, personally not. Getting paid $220,000 for four months work is a pretty solid gig in my opinion. And having additional opportunities like this to potentially leverage your brand into other things is pretty awesome as well. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this, man. Are you all for the Liz Cambage OnlyFans? Are you going to buy the Liz Cambage OnlyFans? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.